I got to know about Sojourner Truth Museum about five years ago, and I came in to talk with uh, Shauna McDaniels about ways that we might help to promote Banana Festival, which is an annual fundraising event that they have to raise funds for the museum. Uh, I met her at the museum and I was just astonished because it's a hidden treasure of Sacramento that so many people have never even heard of. Greetings, my name is Shauna McDaniels and I'm with the Sojourner Truth Museum. The Sojourner Truth Museum uh, Cultural Arts Center was started in 1996. In 2007, we received museum status. Uh, we refer to ourselves as the Sojourner Truth Museum. Currently, the museum serves about 12,000 kids every year for free. Our mission is to keep art alive and thriving in our community. I'm just proud to be a part of, of uh, a community-based organization that gives back. One way that Sojourner Truth gives back to children is that they hold classes in entrepreneurship. I believe, and it has long since been proven, that if you teach someone to, to be creative and productive and how to grow a garden, they can always feed themselves. And so if we teach children how to, to establish businesses, uh, in the classroom, we give them classroom instruction and we also give them a hands-on opportunity. Then they learn the value of making money, keeping a bank account and all the things that go with uh, making a decent living. I would like to encourage each and every one of you to uh, continue to donate. The Sojourner Truth Multicultural Museum has, presents a lot to the community. Not only do they put on the banana festival, but they also help educate children and bring together children and seniors in different programs. They provide um, classes for history, for art, for the community. They have also an entrepreneurship for children as well as young adults. They um, provide a lot of community leadership. Well, you know, Shauna is uh, part of a community of artists, but one of the things that I love about her program is they do the traveling murals, and they do that by traveling around from event to event, site to site, neighborhood to neighborhood, and all the different people of the community, particularly the youth and the children, get involved in creating these murals. And it's always a multicultural theme. They've done um, murals around uh, Asian Pacific Islander countries, around the Hmong culture, and uh, just all, all different kinds of things. It's just, it's just a wonderful program to get involved and to bring the community together and to help all of us learn about uh, all the different people who, work, who live and work in our communities. I first came across the Sojourner Truth Museum about 10 years ago. And it struck me how literally embedded in the community the museum was. Everyone that came volunteered and pitched in um, and really tried to create a space that was welcoming to the community, that shared information about um, art. Some of the things um, that the museum does is um, lots of outreach, um, art classes, programs for youth, for adults, and for families to do together. Um, there's art classes not just at the museum, but also at um, some of the elementary schools or community centers that are in the area. So I encourage each and every one of you to continue to donate. Uh, you can actually go to the the Nana Festival coming up on August the 12th and 13th. And and uh, actually spend some money with our young entrepreneurs and, and just go interact with them because that's where they get a hands-on opportunity to, 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 to put into practice what they learn in, in the classroom. My name is Kaylee Young and um, I'm a part of the Search of the Truth Museum and the academic youth course, National Academic Youth Corps as well. And in like second grade, I started a business called Bracelets by Kaylee with one of my friends. And 
I kind of thought of it as a joke, but when I got older, I realized that I started to pay for my own things instead of making my parents pay for it all the time. And once I became a teenager, like things started to like I started to want to buy things more, so it made me become more independent. And once I started um, becoming being a member of the academic youth corps, I was able to become a young entrepreneur, and I was able to go on um, first and third Saturday and sell my bracelets, and it helped me pay for a lot of things like school field trips and personal trips and paying for things that I want to buy for myself, being able to provide gifts to my parents, which a lot of people don't get to do. And the whole program itself made me a different person. It made me more confident and it made me more independent and it really increased my maturity level. And I'm able to ask more questions and like it made me like not only mature but it made me a different person. Like I feel like I'm more mature and I get that a lot from a lot of people but just knowing that in myself that I'm independent and I can pay for things and I can be who I am and like every time somebody asks me oh or like are you black and white I'm like I'm black and I'm proud to be who I am and I'm proud to know that I'm strong and independent and mature and I know who I am and where I come from and that's such a powerful thing that the program gave to me. What we need from the community is your support to continue <laughs> to keep these programs alive and thriving for the kids in our community. What would the world be without art? Our children, they need art. Our children, they love art. They only need the opportunity. And I'm asking you for May 4th, the big day of giving to open up your heart and give to such a music. You can visit our Big Day of Giving site at www.bigdayofgiving. We've been in this community serving the children and the families for over 20 years. And we need you to help us keep the arts thriving in our community. And we thank you. Support the Strength of Museum.